Hello, welcome to Ekidel. We are a trained future civil and structural engineer. Today, on this dormitory building design, which is the part 8 of this video, I will be showing you how to apply a tool on your foundation, raft foundation design. So, looking at this right now, on, on the part 7, we did the modeling of this raft foundation. And on this part 8 right now, I will be showing you how to apply a tool, a tool slab, for this raft foundation. Now, the help of that tool slab is to, um, is to help to resist what they call active pressure that is meant to heat on this, on this substructure, which is the foundation. So, most people do, do is to apply that, what they call tool, which is always found on most of the times um, on, on a structure like, uh, let me say, um, retaining walls. So also the same thing happens here on the raft foundation. So if you don't apply that tool on your raft beam, what happens is that your beam will tend to um, begin to, uh, will not begin to experience what they call overburden pressure. So right now, I'll be showing you how to apply that tool on your raft foundation. So with this right now, I'll go over to the um, to story zero zero. Now, 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 before we start, if you have missed the part one, part two, up to part seven of this video, I would say check on the link down below and watch all the parts of this video because we, because, because the, we started this, um, this um, building from the very scratch up to this very stage. Now, this is a hostel building, as you can see the name here, or, 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 or you say a school dormitory building design which we started from scratch up to this very end. And this is a live project. That is why I would say that you should watch other parts of the video so that you can be able to now grab to this very stage. If, if this is your first time of um, watching this video, please watch all the parts of the video and you can get the all the parts of the, of the video link directly on this video description. Okay, so right now, I'll begin to now insert the tool. So to put the slab tool right now, I'll just go to this place, this slab icon here, click on that place, and then come over here and input my slab thickness to be 200, the same thickness which, which, which we use as this slab area here, as you can see this slab thickness here is 200. So I'll use the same thickness and the cover of concrete to be 50 because it is directly on the soil. And then on the area of load here, I'll make this place, this place of little level, leave it at zero. But on this other side, we use here to be 1000 as the level but here leave it at zero because this this tool slab we found directly on the foundation area on, on level so right now i'll just go over here right now and then begin to now insert my tool slab so i'll go here and click at this place right now i click on this very point here to click from this very point right now sorry now since it since it since that tool slab used to act like like this used to act like like um like a can't leave a beam and not like it like a normal slab i'll go here right now and then choose this place to be um can't leave a slab as you can see there can't leave a slab not beam sorry can't leave a slab as 2f type 2f and i'll begin to now uh, i'll go here right now and then impute my can't leave length as you can see here i want my tool slab to be 750 uh, 750 millimeter length and I will come here again and make sure that this place here, this place here is zero. And I'll go here right now and begin to insert my um, cantilever slab right now, which, which is not acting like a tool. So I begin to put that all around the area and I will show you how this looks like just now on, on, the, on this building 3D view. So I'll do the same thing here, from here to here, do the same here and then do the same from here to here, okay? And I'll do the same from here to here, okay? Sorry. I'll do the same here from here to here, okay? And I'll do the same from here to here, okay? And I'll go again and do the same thing here from here to here. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be a bit fast on doing this. Now, it is very, very good to, 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 to insert your tool slab. Most people don't do it on their, on their raft foundation because if you don't do it, if there is what they call lateral drift, what happens is that the, what happens is that your, this your, this your ground beam will now tend to perform what they call overturning moment. Okay, so let me just finish up what I'm doing now and then I'll put all that and I'll show you 
how to do, uh, how that looks like on the um, on the view. Now you put your slab, this can deliver slab column to column. So make sure you don't jump any column to the next column. Make sure you do it column to column. Okay. What I mean by you jumping column, I'll just I'll, I'll show you that just now. What I mean by you jumping column is that you not click, taking here and then come and click here. No, do it column to column. So since you have column here, you have to click here first and insert and then move over from here again to here and insert here and then go again from here to here and insert that and then go again from here to here and do this here. Okay, and then move again from here to here and insert this and then move again from here to all the way down here. You have next column and insert that. And then go over to here to here and insert that. And then go to here again and to here and insert this. Okay. And then move again from here to here and insert. And move again from here to here and insert. And click again from here to here and insert. Now, it is, like I said before, it is very, very good to, to um, add this tool slab to your graph foundation. If you're using the graph on beam, always add it because it helps to control what they call overboarding pressure or active pressure that, that, that will be caused by the soil. So if you don't do that, then your app foundation might have issue. Okay, so let me just do that just now and continue doing this. And then also do the same thing here from here to here and then from here to here. Okay, and from here to here. Okay, and from, um, from here first. To here and then come back here from here to here okay that's nice and i'll go again from um here to here first and then from here to here okay and i'll go again and insert this one first from here to here then come back and insert from here to here okay and then go again and insert from here to here and then go again and insert from here to here, okay? And insert again from here to here, okay? And insert from here to here, that's nice. And then from here to here, okay? And from here to here, okay? And then from here to here. Now, there is something we call Equidel Mentorship Program. So if you want to be trained, sorry, if you want to be trained specially, you can um, enroll into our Equidel mentorship program where we will train you specially on how to design building structurally and also structural design and also civil engineering designs. Okay, and also here on Equidel, as you can see on your video right now, you will be seeing what um, like a join button. Now on that join button, that is like a membership plan for Equidel training where, where we upload exclusive videos on how to design buildings and also structural designs and also other civil engineering design. So I would say that if you want to get the exclusive package of our full trainings, I would say that you should, um, um, you can um, click on the join button. You can choose to join, um, which is the lowest one, which is directly that, um, which is the first one, beginners level. And then if you find it very, very useful, when you have um, passed that level, you can now um, upgrade yourself to the next level, which is called intermediate level. And then um, you will now go over to the advanced level also. So I would say that to be good in, um, in any career, you must have to spend money on that. Like we, we spent money to be able to be good to, to, to this very, very standard. So I'll say that you should not be stingy with your career because if you're good in what you're doing, just, just, just with, if you're able to hit just one project, I'll tell you that it will be able to cover up all what you are spent during when you're trying to learn or, or what you know just now. Okay, so let me just continue and do this again. We are almost done inserting this, okay? Now, now you can see the time we are spending inserting our tool slab. As you can see now your toe slab time your 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 toe slab length the length of your toe, of your toe slab can start from 500 to around 1000 so i'll say that you can choose any value of that now if you use sorry if you use a lower value let me say for 500 
and during your design you now see that there is a failure you can now go and then increase because it's always there is always a failure if if you don't put this toe slab you see that or you, you see that when you check on the soil pressure you see that all the edges of the beams will be failing because of the overburden pressure okay let me just do this again here now you will see that you will see that if we are going to we are going to design for this graph slab because we for the for the part seven and the part eight we we are just um showing you how to model a raft foundation and we are on the last stage right now which we are trying to model the on like 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 the tool on the part seven we did the beam modeling sorry on the part seven we did the beam modeling and also the slab modeling so on this part eight right now we are trying to model for the toe, which will take care of the overburden pressure. The reason why we just chose to do this toe separately is to tell you how important it is on raft foundation. It's very, very important. Most people tend to just ignore it, but it's very, very important for you to do that on your raft foundation. That's why we chose to use just one part to teach only on this raft on this toe, on, on this toe slab for this found for this raft foundation. Okay, so we do the same thing from here to from here to here and from here to here. Okay, and from here to here. Okay, okay, and from here to here. Okay, and from here, from here to here first. And then we'll come here to, to form the shape here to here. Okay. Now, if you have any question regarding on what you're doing just now, because I know that since this is a new, I know that you have not seen this kind of thing before, but I'll say that most people has um, used to used to ignore it because of the cost during construction and during design. But it is very, very good for you to put that because it helps to save your structure. Now you might say that you have seen beauty that that and they have built without this and it's still standing now let me tell you that at least um from the code of practice design life of a building is um 50 years now you you might finish your building and then it is just there standing but let me say along the line if there is any disturbance on the soil that is when you will see some failures in your buildings okay so let me just continue again and do this one here Okay. Okay, so I'll do the same thing right now to input here to here. And then I'll go again and do this from here to here to here. And I'll do again from here to here. So you, you so you cannot see how we are taking time to do this. That's because to show you how this is very, very important. Sorry. Very, very important to do. That's why I'm taking this longer time to um do this. So let me do the same thing to finish up from here. We are almost done in less than um some seconds we will we will be done with this stage and then move on to the design of this foundation. okay and then do this here from here to here okay and then do this now okay as you can see that like i said before in less than some minutes we'll be done okay so we are we are not done with this um place right now save, and then we tend to save first always tend to save when you have done some changes always try to save because most times this software tends to shut down okay and then we just do that okay we just you have done, done that just now that's nice and then we are still waiting for it to finish up okay so once you're done saving we will now move into the next part which is now the full raft foundation design but I'll first of all show you um, how this looks like on the 3D view because I know you might have been thinking how will this thing look like but I'll show you right now how 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 it looks like on the foundation this this slab and this slab they are not at the same level this slab is at the zero level and this slab is at one meter level okay so let me just show you that just now so if we go right now on the 3D view just now and then Click on 3D view just now. You will see how you cannot see how this thing looks like. Let me just turn off this and grid line to, to be able to see it clearly. You cannot see how this looks like as you can see here. You can now see how this looks like. 
So you can see perfectly how this looks like. This is now what they call, this is now a toe slab and this is the rough slab here. So you can now see what we have just done just now. Okay. Okay, so right now we will now move into the next stage, which is now the foundation um, design for this rough foundation. Okay, but before we move now to the rough foundation design fully, let me show you where we are meant to insert slab again. On this area, we will have this area. We are meant to insert a slab here around this around these edges again, which is the cantilever slab, which is like a toe, because here will be filled with soil. So this place will also be affected by an active pressure at the edges of this place. So we will also insert that slab here. So I will just click on one of this slab, this toe slab here, and take the the slab properties and then begin to insert my um, slab also on, at this very end at this very point so i'll click on this place again right now and then click at this place to insert my slab i'll click outside and you can see that also and i'll do the same thing from here to here and click outside and from here to here and click outside now you can see that we are not we are not trying to just take anything for granted we are taking everything because this is a real life project and here on ekidea we teach on real life project that is why you can see that we are taking um, everything into consideration because we don't want to miss any steps and now had it been this is just a normal video that we are just doing just to get views we would have just um skipped all this part and then just move on but here on ekidea if you check all all our videos we go in details the reason why, why we're going in detail because we want these younger engineers to be able to um, know that there is a way to design building fully without um, you just keeping some parts because most of the videos that we have watched here on um, right here on this um, on most of the channels here on um, this video channel YouTube's you see that they just want to give you so they they, they, they they don't teach in details and if you go ahead with that you you, you see that you'll be having issues you'll be you, you you'll be able to like um you won't be able to like understand what you're doing in your structural design but here on ekidel most of our subscribers have been saying thank you and also sending all their gifts to us and saying thank you for what we are doing here on um, ekidel okay so we do the same thing for here also and also inside our slab here do the same thing here and also from here to here and then also from here from here to here okay and from here to here okay and from here to here okay and then palm this place now and do the same thing from here to here and from here to here okay and do the same thing here from here to here okay and 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 then we go again to insert from column to column and insert that and click again from column to column and insert that and column to column now if you have any question you know what you're seeing here because i know that you more you have a lot of questions because now this is the first time you are you are seeing this on a rough foundation the reason why it will be like a first time you're seeing this is because most of the most of the channels don't teach real life examples or let me say they they, they don't use a real life project to like teach 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 on their channels but here on ekide because we are using real life we don't want to miss any part of what we are doing because after now we are we are going to print this plan and then um submit it to the client for um construction of which we are also the one that 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 that, that we are that we are, that we can construct it so sorry i'm i'm clicking on the wrong part so let me just go and click on the right part right now okay so we are also be, be the one that that will go and construct it that's why i say i'm going to show you the video during the construction how this how this um how this tool slab and the wrap beam they are being tied together during the reinforcement and also during the rough slab de detailing which will be which which you're going to perform it using manual detailing using the stone bridge company structural template which is a which is a compatible template for all product structure designs we will use that template and then also perform for you the full structural detailing now i will also drop the link to that template in case you want that template you just download that template and then use it it is a customized um it is it, it is a customized template for 
for all your for for all your social detailing as long as you have you have done your design using potash torture it helps to it helps to perform what they call um it, it helps to perform what they call structural or um structural optimization for all your for 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 the whole details that um you have done using this software with that structure okay so right now you cannot see what we have done now if you check it on 3d view just now you will see um how it looks like okay 3d view sorry 3d view now you will, you can let me just look at it from the um top view of this building from the top view sorry this building is very massive that's why you can see it's taking some time to um, respond sorry so i'll just show you from the top view area so you can now see how it looks like on the top view area so this is how it looks like as you can see just now you can see it just now this is how it looks like on the top view you can see it perfectly so let me also zoom back to see other um other of the areas you can also see this side too so if you check all the top view now you can see how it looks like so you can see how we spend time to model just the tool so on the next part right now which is the part nine I will be showing you the full rad foundation analysis and design. Now, there are some things you're meant to consider when you're performing the rad design. Because what we have just done just now is just modeling. So I'll be showing you the raft foundation design in, 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 in the part nine. So I'll say that you, you should stay, stay tuned while we perform that graph foundation design, which will also apply for the bearing capacity and other type of factors. For your design okay so thank you and if you have seen this very end i say thank you so much for staying to the very end of this part eight and then if you have not yet um click on the subscribe button i will say you should um subscribe to our channel ekidel and also um if you have i'll say also that you should uh, click on the like button and also um share this video to your friends and also call your um, friends and colleagues to come and also know what we are doing right here on ekidel um, channel here on here on and youtube okay so thank you so much and god bless you and watch out for the part and uh, for the next part which is for the rat foundation design properly thank you goodbye